massive, there, there really is never a dull moment. And, and the things that Ash Mufara is sharing with those individuals participating with Unpassive, uh, it is absolutely awesome. A couple of days ago, if someone would have asked me uh, to give them a short phrase to describe Unpassive, it would have been completely different than what I'm going to use today. And, and what I'm going to be sharing with you once you get this, you're going to understand where OnPassive is, how powerful it is, where you're at in OnPassive, and how it's going to affect your bottom line very, very seriously. So the phrase that I would use today to describe OnPassive is diminishing returns. And I know people are out there and, and, and they're going, that, that's really an odd phrase to marry with OnPassive. Why would you do that? And if you stick with me for just a couple of minutes, you're going to understand why that phrase is apropos and how powerful on passive is going to be in your life. This is really, really some cool stuff. This is one of those, the, one of these thoughts that you want to, you want to remember, you want to get, you want to understand because it'll show you who and what on passive is. So diminishing returns. What is that? Diminishing returns can use can be used in many areas of life, but today we're talking about business. And when you talk about diminishing, ter, ter, diminishing returns with business, uh, it's really, really simple to understand. Uh, business has to, has to create more energy than they're using to survive, and that means revenue. They have to bring in more revenue than they're using. And if you've got a business that isn't generating enough energy compared to the energy they're using, over time, they're just going to go poof. They're going to disappear. And a really, really good analogy for me to understand that, if, if I was doing chore, chores around the yard, and I started by, uh, by mowing the lawn with a push lawn mower, it took me a couple of hours, and then I continued to do those chores over two, three, four, five days, and I didn't eat anything. I didn't replace that energy. Over the course of three or four or five days, I literally could drop, drop dead. And obviously, the amount of work that I'm doing will decrease as time goes by because I'm not replacing that energy. That is diminishing returns. In other words, you're working, your work diminishes, you're not getting the return you want, and eventually you're either gonna drop dead or you're gonna eat something. That is diminishing returns. And when we talk about corporate America, when we talk about businesses, diminishing returns is spending so much energy and not bringing in enough energy to sustain that business. And if you do that long enough, you're just not going to be in business anymore. So when you think about businesses, what do they do to, to try and increase the productivity of that business, produce more energy than they're using, more revenue, and prosper. And one of the things they do, and, and, and this is where it starts to get very, very cool, they use something called digital transformation. And what a company will do is they'll start to transform their company, try and make it better, try and make it streamlined, make it better for the CEO, for the employees, products, customers, everything by bringing in digital products. And they do that to improve the efficiency of the business. So this has to do with the speed of business and the speed of money. If you can improve the business, you improve the speed of business. In other words, doing business with customers and you improve the speed of money, money coming into the business, that's revenue. And if you can, if you can bring in more energy, more revenue than you're spending, obviously you're going to be very, very successful. <clears throat> now, a good example of that is the, is the HR, um, HR division in any business, human resources, uh, human, human resources division. Uh, and, and really, you can, you can use this theory throughout all of corporate America, all of businesses, uh, digital transformation, bringing in digital products, AI, IT products, artificial intelligence, informational technology products, to improve the efficiency of your company. And in an HR department, we have several people in on passive that are very, very familiar with the HR uh, departments and how they run. Uh, Susie McRae and Janet Butler in the Bahamas, both of those are very, very good 
on HR, human resources departments. And, and the way it works today, and this is a form of digital transformation, uh, companies will, will go out, and, and this is happening today, they'll go out and they'll bring in four or five or six different uh, IT products to run their human resources department. Uh, and it does help, it organizes the department, but it is a bear. When you're dealing with four or five different products that aren't integrated and you have to combine them, you're constantly going from, from one IT product to another IT product to another IT product. This is all software, they're digital products. And it makes it very, very difficult and time consuming to do the work that you need to do. And it's very, very repetitive. It's very, very boring. And the human condition, they, they just get tired of it. They get bored with doing it, doing the same rogue uh, tasks every day, day in, day out. But that's what's happening in corporate America today. That's how the human resource department is structured. So how does corporate America <clears throat> do a better job of, of digital transformation? Well, that brings in on passive. And I'll use the same example. You know, when you look at a, a human resources department, it really has very little to do with the customer side of, of business. But the reason you wanna, you wanna use the, the best technology is to free up your talent. You know, the human imagination is so terrific and can, can do so many things once you free it up from the mundane, HR department, human resources department. And what on passive has done is they've taken all the tools that these HR departments need. They put it into one package under one umbrella. They've integrated everything, put it under AI, artificial intelligence, with all the, the digital tools they need to run that department. And all of a sudden it becomes very, very simple for individuals to manage the, the, uh, the human resources department. Now that product is O staff and on passive. This is revolutionary. This has never been done by any other company. And when you look at corporate America and what they're trying to do with their digital transformation, understand that this is really, really hard. Now, this is where it gets really, really fun, really, really exciting for you and I, those individuals participating with OnPassive. <clears throat> As we look at companies around the world that are trying to do this digital transformation, bring in digital products to help run their company, to have it seamless, to have it, just to have it better for everybody in the company, especially for the customer. Um, they spent in, in 2019, they spent $1.3 trillion trying to do this, okay? Now in all my research that I've done on digital transformation, one phrase came into to play over and over and over again. And that phrase is, you will fail, i.e. in 2019, companies spent $1.3 trillion on trying to do this. And of that three point, of that $1.3 trillion, they lost, get this, they lost $900 billion. They just flushed it down the toilet. What we're talking about is a very, very difficult thing to do for companies. This is not easy stuff to do. And everybody has to be involved from the CEO to the employees, uh, to the product side of, of products or service side of whatever company you're talking about. This is extremely difficult. Again, this brings in on passive. When you think about on passive, and, and this is what just blew my mind, on passive is a digital transformation company. Okay. When you look at what companies have done in 2019 and the amount of money that people that they spent and lost because it's a very, very difficult to, thing to do, you can think about the market of on passive. Okay. Think about that. $1.3 trillion in one year. And this is just the business side of OnPassive. And then think about what OnPassive has done. OnPassive is a digital transformation company. All right. That's what Ash and his team have done over the last four, four years, developing the products that can take companies from a place where they're at, not very efficient, and bring them into the digital age, digital transformation, and make their company run seamless. 
Now, again, this is a very, very difficult thing to do, but here's what Ash Mufar has done. Again, this is just absolutely genius. All the products of Unpassive, yes, they're superior. Yes, they're at a lower price point. Yes, they're interconnected. Yes, they're under all one, one, one umbrella. But the products of Unpassive are easy to use. Ash makes these products as if he's making them for his grandmother. So his grandmother could come on and use all of these products. And that's one of the pro problems with digital transformation. Companies will bring in new technology and it's very complex. And when it gets to the employee, they're going, I can't use this. I don't know how to do this. They have to have a PhD in computer science in order to use these technologies that companies are bringing in, i.e. they fail, i.e. they lost $900 billion in 2019. Unpassive has made the products of Unpassive, they're very, very complicated. They do all the work that's necessary to be done, but it's easy for the employee to use these products. So the culture of a company has to be such that when the, when the, when the new, new digital technology comes in, that they'll come in, they'll use the new digital technology, and it'll be awesome. What, what does that do for companies? In every area that a company is in, it frees up individuals. It frees up that, that human ability, that human imagination that can be set free and improve a company in so many different ways. And Unpassive is a really, really good, exper a really, really good example of that. They think outside the box. And when you have a company and all this, this, this work that has to be done, this very rogue, very mundane, can be done with AI or IT products, all of a sudden people can actually think outside the box and bring new innovation to a company. This is what digital transformation does. It's not to get rid of people, it's to free up people and let their imaginations just soar. It really is the ability to give people unlimited potential, what they, contrib they can contribute to a company. This is the genius behind what Ash Mufara has done. If you understand digital transformation, it is what Unpassive is. That is what we do. And two days ago, I did not know what that term meant. But when I understood what Ash Mufara and his team have done, I just, I was just flabbergasted. You know, I thought I knew how big Unpassive was and how, how much revenue Unpassive is going to be bringing in. But when you talk about 2019, $1.3 trillion spent to try and do this digital transformation that companies have to do, that you either do it or you die. Um, because if you don't do it, eventually your competition isn't going to do it and they're going to put you out of business. And I think about what Ash Mufara has done. It, it's unbelievable. $1.3 trillion dollars of market share. That is what OnPassive has on the business side of OnPassive. That's just the business side. That's not the personal side. When you understand digital transformation, why companies are coming in and using new technology, cutting edge technology, which OnPassive has, and it's better than anything out there. We can take a company with the products of OnPassive and rather spending all of this money and failing they will come in, spend much less with the products of Unpassive and be successful at converting their, comp their company with digital transformation and making everything seamless. Everything gets better and it gets better for the, cu the customer experience because of everything that they've done inside the company. And really that is the bottom line, making things better for the customer. It's the speed of business, the speed of money, making sure the customer is satisfied, has a great experience, and everything moves seamlessly. That is what digital transformation is. And when you think about the speed of business and the speed of money, and you think about diminishing return, when you can, when you can generate more energy than you're using, more revenue than you're using, and you can do that with digital transformation, all of a sudden, the future gets very, very bright for your company. This is on passive. On passive is digital transformation. And when I understood it, and I got a lot of this stuff from Marty. I mean, Mar I listened to Marty the other day, and, and it's the first time I had heard the term digital transformation. Marty DeGarmo is who I listened to. 
and the tech team. Tech team was awesome, but Marty kind of boiled it down for me. I, I have a pea brain. It has to be very simple for me. And the tech guys, I mean, they're great. They, they explained everything, but Marty boiled it down and I understood it. Once I understood it, I understood what Unpassive was. I understand what they're doing and how they're going to do it and how successful they're going to be. I understood my position in Unpassive, participating with Unpassive and where I'm going to be in a very, very short period of time. So digital transformation is one of those terms you want to understand. It is unpassive. And when I think about digital transformation, I think about diminishing returns. Those companies that don't take advantage of what unpassive has to offer, they will not be around very long because the competition will take advantage of this and they will make their company superior to anything out there in their niche. I just think it's absolutely awesome what Ash and his team have done. The tech team has done a great job in the last four years. It's amazing what they've been able to do and why people are going to flock to them. The tech team, our O-Tech team in Unpassive did a great job explaining it. Marty did a great job. Hopefully this helps understand where you're at. You're in a unique position. It doesn't get any better than this. I mean, just, just look forward to what's coming because it is going to wow the world. Not only is it going to wow you and your bottom line, it's going to wow the world. So very, very cool stuff. Again, Unpassive, never a boring moment. I thought I knew how big Unpassive was. I didn't. And when I, when, when I heard about digital transformation, Unpassive is digital transformation. When I understood how difficult it is for a company to do that and how easy Unpassive makes it for that company, to make that transition and make their business better. Uh, I, I was really, I was speechless for a little bit. Uh, so really, really fun time, guys. Understand this concept. Don't let this thing go. It tells you exactly where you're at and more importantly, where you're going. We're going, we're going to really, really good places now. So that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to put my two cents in on digital transformation. Hopefully this helps you understand how big a deal this is and where we're going. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I always recommend you go down there and subscribe. Hit the bell on the right. And as I, as I do more notifications and other webinars come onto this YouTube channel, you'll be able to watch them. Uh, don't miss anything right now. I mean, Ash is sharing so much with us right now. It, 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 it's just astounding. And it's really, really awesome to listen to him talk about on passive. And as the, as the founding position closes, which is next week, the 22nd, he's going to he's going to start sharing even more with the founding members. So really exciting times for everybody that's participating with on passive, uh, continue to, to watch and listen. Uh, believe me, we are in a great place. Take care. And yeah, we'll absolutely see you on the inside. Bye.